Hi, I'm David Fleming from Disciples Ignited, a ministry that's focused on Jesus, advancing his kingdom, and preparing his disciples. In this series titled Learning to Pray Like Jesus, we're studying the Lord's Prayer from Matthew chapter 6. And this week, we've been looking specifically at Matthew chapter 6, verse 12. Have you ever wondered why forgiveness is so important to the Lord? Well, today I'm going to share with you three things that will help you understand why forgiveness is so important. So, why is forgiveness so important? Three reasons. If we don't forgive others, we're showing God that we don't really understand the magnitude of our sins against Him. You see, that which others have done to us are minimal compared to that which we have done against Almighty God. We have sinned against a holy, righteous, pure God. Now, when other people sin against us, it's just sinner against sinner. But when we sin against God, we are sinning against the Holy One. This really reminds me of the parable that Jesus taught the disciples to emphasize the gravity of our sin and our need to forgive others. We find it in Matthew chapter 18, verses 23 through 35. It's powerful. Listen carefully. Jesus said, The kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. As he began the settlement, a man who owed him 10,000 bags of gold was brought to him. Since he wasn't able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children and all that he had be sold to repay the debt. At this, the servant fell on his knees and before him and said, Be patient with me, he begged, and I will pay back everything. The servant's master took pity on him, canceled the debt, and let him go. But when that servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred silver coins. He grabbed him and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. His fellow servant fell to his knees and begged him, be patient with me and I will pay it back. But he refused. Instead, he went off and had the man thrown into prison until he could pay the debt. When the other servants saw what had happened, they were outraged and went and told their master everything that had happened. Then the master called the servant in. You wicked servant, he said. I canceled all that debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant just as I had on you? In anger, his master handed him over to the jailers to be tortured until he should pay back all that he owed. Then Jesus said, This is how my heavenly Father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or sister from your heart. Wow. We need to take heed to the Lord's warning. This parable reveals that our forgiveness can be canceled unless we are willing to forgive others then the Lord will not forgive us. Another reason why forgiveness is so important is this. We are called to represent Jesus, and forgiving others is a major part of representing Jesus to others. You see, as his representatives, Jesus has given us the authority and the responsibility to forgive others. John chapter 20, verse 23 says this. Jesus said, if you forgive anyone's sins, their sins are forgiven. What authority Jesus has given us. Another reason that forgiveness is absolutely vital in your life and so important is because Jesus wants you to be free. And you will never be truly free as long as you have unforgiveness in your heart. You see, those who don't forgive others are putting themselves in bondage, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically. And Galatians chapter 5 verse 1 tells us, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. And if you ever let unforgiveness begin to grow in your heart, you are just letting yourselves be put back into bondage, just like you were before you were born again. And Jesus wants you to be free. But that's only possible if you allow the forgiveness that he 
gave to you to flow through you to others. One of the most important things that you will ever do is forgive others. Think about that, and I'll see you tomorrow.